Hey, it's your boy Doc. Um, as you guys know, I'm with uh, SonyRumors.net, uh, and I appreciate the people that have followed me over there. Um, and for you guys that request uh, unboxings, this one's specifically for Sony Rumors, for my friends over there. So we're going to unbox Batman Arkham Origins, the collector's edition. <laughs> Pretty uh, sizable box, you know. A little uh, display of what's to come on the inside here. Uh, for those of you that bought Necessary Evil, uh, you now have a copy to give away, <laughs> or you now have two copies. Um, it's a four four point seven gig install, so you guys are fighting for space. Uh, it might be time to delete some stuff before you uh, before you install. So. Let's get down. What's under the hood? It's like a surgical strike over here. We have one on the bottom. Yeah, we have one on the bottom too. Still looking good. They sure don't want you to forget what's in the box. Of course, if you paid the retail cost, there's a good chance you're never going to forget what's in the box. Warning! Fragile! Yeah, blah, blah, blah. Where's the good stuff? So let's see. So apparently, even Batman is outsourced to China. <laughs> All printed material. That closes the box, I'm just saying. So we have a awesome little Batwing uh, uh, diagram. It's on a real good cardstock. Now this is the infamous, for those of you that like glow-in-the-dark stuff, which I do. Wow, they could have packed it better. Oh, wow, that's kind of messed up. This is the glow-in-the-dark uh, map for Arkham Origins. And the stuff you can barely see on through here will definitely glow in the, in the dark. Over there. Here is the Batman Wanted poster. Which the printing is a little offset. You can see in the corners here and here. So a little mass-produced action. You can see the corner over here where it was chopped off before the next one begins. That's why you want your stuff signed and numbered, kids. So, all right. So this is cool. It's the do it's the dossier, the Hitman dossier. And it's got the black mask on the on the front. Oh look, there's a note from mom in here. You made the cut, don't fail me. Oh, mom always knew how to inspire. So you got various different posters, contracts. And for those of you that uh, uh, are into this stuff, they are giving you a lot of stuff to put in your game room. One of the most underplayed characters, Killer Croc. And one of the most underutilized people is his, probably his dentist. Cool. Firefly, that's a guy that hasn't come into play too much. Don't forget your note from mom. Okay, so here we go. Necessary Evil, Super Villains of DC Comics. It's got great stuff with uh, Guillermo del Toro in here too and uh, uh, Zack Snyder. So uh, make sure you watch this. And it's got digital copy too. 
So make sure you. Uh... And then look at this! Oh my gosh, there's actually a game in here. So it says right here: the Nightfall Batman skin, the classic TV's Batman skin, and five challenge maps. And those of you know. And for those people that were arguing online, um, this Batman was actually Jean-Paul Valley. So let's see, here's some cool stuff. Here's an evidence bag. It's a tooth. Possibly from Killer Croc. And then we have here a poker chip, a 10,000, can I cash that in? <laughs> <laughs> they just paid for my next 20,000 games. I, I think the math is a little off on that. Cool. So I'm sure that's a joker. Oh, well. Pop the top and you never know what happens. So here we go. Here's the art book. Which is pretty snazz. It's got a dust cover. A family portrait. And those of you that like to tag shit, like you couldn't draw this yourself, but <laughs> <laughs> you can go spray paint your anarchy thing all over the place. Tell them Doc sent you. Yeah, so art book. Nicely laminated. Look, there's the boy wonder. got a real nice dust cover on it. It's heavyweight. There's the man on the back. This is would be if Batman had a Facebook profile. This would be his sensitive look, I think, probably. <laughs> okay, cool. So they even stamped they even stamped uh, the Batman symbol into the foam on top, which is pretty cool. Okay. Let's see. Nothing under the sleeve. Okay, off you go. Alright, let me have a cheers. That is only soda. Well, I didn't know this would be a real life puzzle. Part game, part saw trap. Jeez, am I done yet? I still got this side to go, awesome. Alright, I think that was it. Oh, oh, oh. Alright. Put this away before I injure myself. Because I've had too much soda. Nothing in here. Wow, this is pretty friggin' large. Uh, wow. So let's see what we got. Hello, kiddos. Nothing in here. Oh, yeah. So there we go. Well, that's nicely done. Of course, on the back of the box, I believe it does show us it lit up here, which I'm gonna call. Um, I don't know who I'm gonna call, but. <laughs> so, uh, all right. Now, everything's held on pretty well. Apparently, Joker, Joker really likes either that is the worst. It's either moldy bread. Or it's one of those holiday, what are those things called? Uh, 
Fruitcake. Fruitcake. <laughs> okay, now it makes sense. Never mind. <laughs> it's a fruitcake. All right, so, so here's the back, and so here's this little door. You swing this bad boy open, and you flick this little switch, and exactly shit happens. <laughs> Batteries not included. Batteries not included, kids. It looks like triple A's. Hey Doki. Unfortunately, there's one TV remote in my house that is not going to be working tonight. And it might be made by Vizio. <laughs> you know, for what you spend on these things, they could at least give you a couple of batteries. Okay, apparently I need a friggin' engineering degree to get a battery in. Too much soda. Yeah, yeah. Damn soda. <laughs> okay. So now, that you've done that, so that's pretty interesting. You get some fuzzy representations behind you. I mean, that's cool that it lights up. It's on oh yeah, it does. <laughs> From here, it looks like too much soda. So, uh, here, let's let's kick some light real quick. So it does light up, and so this is so just so you know, your batteries go in here. But what I knew about ahead of time that I was curious about, that one of my friends told me, is this part right here. This hinges and opens this, but this part, which they don't tell you about, contains this little bag. It says, warning, contains spoiler. Do not open until story complete. It's got a little black mask. So, yeah. I don't want to describe what that feels like. So, for you true collectors, you guys are in for a big one because you need to find another one of these if you don't want to open this up. So, that's exactly where that goes. And that's it. So for those of you guys that are sending in the questions about my uh, Joel and Ellie statue, which used to be right here where my phone would dock, it is now there. And uh, this will somehow manage to go over here. So uh, that's it. So we've seen the game, we've seen all the good stuff. Uh, um, that's pretty much it. I need to install this and, and get gaming. Um, so I'll need some more soda. But uh, <laughs> this is it. Uh, thanks to the guys at my local GameStop, the manager Pete, the other manager Kyle. Um, okay, I didn't mean Kyle. Forget. And uh, SonyRumors.net. So you guys that uh, uh, that tuned in, thank you very much. This is what you get for your money. You know the secret in the back. And I look forward to gaming with you guys. And I'll see you at the next unboxing. Yeah.